hi viewers how you all doing in today's tutorial i'll be taking us on how to take a proper princess that's measurement for every butt size we will also talk about the reason and the importance of that include making the reason why we apply that especially in female clothes so guys i will go ahead and take all my vertical measurements in this tutorial that's from my shoulder to my half length So I will now go ahead and take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 16 inches. If you divide that by two, you have eight inches. So I'll go to my chest line and take the same measurement, which is eight inches. Then I will connect it to the shoulder. So next is my neckline measurement. My neck measurement is three inches deep and three inches wide. That's our basic neckline measurement, three by three inches. So I will connect the lines. After which I'll go ahead and create the neck curve. So guys, this is my basic body measurement. This is my shoulder. The shoulder is 16 inches divided by two, which is eight. This is my neck measurement, neck depth of three inches and three inches wide. So this is my chest line I got my chest line by dividing my bust measurement into six I added 1.5 inches so it that's how to get your bust your, your chest line which is this this is my chest line so if you divide your round boss your bust measurement into six then you add 1.5 inches to it so mine is 7.5 which is this line so this next line is my boss point the boss point is 10 inches i added a half inch to it so this is my round under boss my round under boss is 13 so i added one half inch to it from my boss line boss point to my under boss is three inches so this next line the last line here is my half length which is this so i will now go ahead and take my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple measurement is seven inches. If you divide that by two, you will have 3.5 inches. Then I will add half inch for sewing allowance. 
after which I will connect the lines. I'm taking that from my chest line to my half length. So guys, let's go into the main business of today's tutorial. Her bust measurement is 36. And 36, 37, 38, 39 are all medium sizes. So the dart measurement we are taking for this bust 36 is one and a half inches from the side front and 0.75 inch from the center front that's the inner part so you know we have people that has a smaller boss so anytime you are measuring for people with smaller boss you can take one one inch one one inch for the both side or even one inch and half inch but always make sure that what you're taking from the side front is more than what you're taking from the center front because the boss is always bigger around the side front now why do we take our darts around the half length area and the under boss area this is because the boss is always around the chest line and the boss point so when you create the dart from the down part the upper boss will now shoot out and that is when you are creating a space for the bust so if you don't take the accurate dart for the bust that means there will not be space for the boss so anytime you're making a dress for a plus size make sure that you take a proper that's measurement that will give you what you want you can take three inches from the side front then two inches from the center front so two more things you need to know about people with large bosses that they are under boss is always around 17 16 and it has nothing to do with their height because the boss is big so their under boss will be longer and you, you know there are still some people that are very tall but because they have a smaller boss their under boss might be like 14 13 but it's not like that with people with extra large breasts their under boss might be like 17, 18, and their nipple to nipple is always around 10 inches, 11 inches, 11 and a half, even 12 inches, people with larger boss. So you just have to be very, very careful with your measurement. If not, you keep having issues with extra large boss measurements. So if you're making a fitted dress for a plus size person, you have to be very, very accurate with the dart, unless it's a stretchy material. In that case, you won't have anything to worry about. But when it involves breast cuts, you have to do the need for. You know when you do it right you won't have someone screaming on your head you know? so people with boss 36 to 42 you can always take one and a half inches from the side front then one inch from the center front or even two inches from the side front and 
one inch from the center front in that case you will not have issue with those category of the day so for both 36 i'm taking one and half inch around the side center side front then 0 0.75 for the center front side that's a inner side so that is it about this that's make that measurement so like now this is my boss point where my tape is i'm coming down by just half an inch but if, if someone with larger boss you can come down by one and a half medium size you can come down by one or 0 0.75 just to create space just to don't make it pointy just to create space for the boss so the next thing i will do is now to go to my my armhole line i will divide my armhole line into two then i will have 3.5 then from that mid midpoint of my armhole i will come down by 0 0.75 inch then i will go up by 0 0.5 0 0.75 inch that is how i created my I'm hold that. That is all about our I'm hold that. Then I will now go ahead and connect the dots, the dots measurements for this dress. You see, don't make it point. Make sure that it's. That is relaxed so i'll now connect the arm hold that i'll connect the upper one to the center front then the down one to the side front it's very simple it's just something you need to study because a lot of tailors always having issues with especially people with big boss so i will now go ahead and replace the 1.5 i took away from the armhole line i will now add it to the side front from there i will now create my armhole curve So from my shoulder, I came down by half an inch. That's for my shoulder slope. Don't forget to replace all the darts that you cut out. Don't forget to replace them add them to your allowance if not your horizontal measurements will not be complete so guys the next thing to do is to cut this out
So this is what it looks like after cutting. It's so beautiful and relaxed. Just look at the boss point area. It's just very accurate. So always be careful with your measurements when it has to do with breast curl. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe to this channel. Whatever challenge you're having in sewing, just write it down on the comment section. We we'll look into it. Okay guys, bye for now. See you in our next video.